Hey, what's going on guys? Lewis Young here and welcome to another video. This video is going to be a little bit different. Firstly, we've got builders outside, so apologies if you can hear them. Also, we've got Lola here, an English bulldog snoring away, so apologies if you can hear that. But um, today's video, I put a poll up on my Instagram and asked you guys, I gave you a few different options and this was quite a popular one. I'm going to make a video about how to get sponsored by brands. Um, if you follow me on Instagram or on YouTube, if you don't, go and follow me on Instagram and subscribe to my YouTube, but you'll notice that I do work with brands. Um, I am sponsored by a few different brands and people have asked me before, how can I get sponsored by brands? And I thought that I would just do this video as if someone's just asked me. I haven't really planned this video, so I'm just talking from my experience. So firstly, you, you need to remember that brands when they come offer you sponsorships, it, it, it's a two-way relationship. It is very much a relationship. It's not something they're doing for you or something you're doing for them. It's kind of, you're doing something for them in return for them doing something for you. So you're offering them a service and in return, they'll be offering you, it could be product, it could be money, it could even be exposure. Um, I know this exposure part is kind of frowned upon a little bit, but it can work in, in the right circumstances, it is beneficial. So you need to remember that the better service you can offer them, the more value you can offer them, the more opportunities you're gonna get from brands to be sponsored. So in terms of value, what you can offer is, the brands are gonna look, firstly, how many followers do you have, how many subscribers do you have, that kind of thing. What is your engagement rate like on all of your posts? What kind of stuff do you post on your social media? Um, a brand's gonna look at that and they're gonna think, does this person, um, does this person suit our brand? Um, obviously, if you, I don't know, if you, if you wanna work with a sports brand or a health brand, but then you're posting stories of you going out drinking every weekend, the brand's probably gonna think, it probably doesn't really suit our brand. Um, so that's something you need to bear in mind. Um, also, the, the quality of your posts, the quality of your content that you do, it needs to be high quality. Because if you're posting, I mean, obviously you can post pictures on your phone, but learn how to take pictures, learn how to edit them or get someone to work with you on them. Because the, essentially, the content that you post, the, the content that you post currently, is what the brand's gonna look at and, and think, kind of, is this up to our standard? Is this gonna make us look good? Another thing, so when I first started, I worked with some very small brands, probably brands that you've never heard of, um, even now. And some people kind of sway away from this because they think either one, it's not good enough for them, or they're too good for the brand, or no one's heard of the brand, whatever but I would encourage this especially if you have a small following you're not sponsored by any brands if a small brand offers you a sponsorship obviously don't tie yourself into something long term um, if you get something kind of like a rolling contract or just something easy and simple and short term that'd be great do it and then do it well because if you ever seen if you've ever been driving down the motorway or any road and you see a big sign that says you could advertise here that is essentially what that is so that is what you're doing and so like if you're if you're advertising if you're working for a small brand and you're posting good pictures for them you're talking about their products you're, you're kind of like build helping build their reputation uh, reputation uh, awareness of the brand that kind of thing other big brands are going to look at your account they're going to see what you're doing for that account for that brand and they're gonna go, hmm, that could be our brand. So if they can see you representing another brand really well, they, they, they can see how you're gonna represent their brand. So don't shy away from the smaller brands when you've got a smaller following or you haven't worked with any brands yet. Obviously, if you've got a huge following, if you've got a million followers and a, a, a brand you've never heard of messages you, then I would look into it a little bit more. Still, I wouldn't say no, but obviously look into it a, bit, a little bit more because you need to make sure it actually suits you as well. Um, this is another thing you need to mention is the brands that you work with, make sure they actually suit 
your niche. Because if I'm, it's just people, people can see straight through it. If I'm in the fitness industry and all of a sudden I start promoting a washing machine brand, I'm clearly doing it for the money. It's, it's, it doesn't suit my niche. I'm not benefiting from it. Um, one more thing you can do is if you look at the kind of the influencers, the athletes, sponsored athletes, kind of that you look up to and you kind of in the same niche as you and scroll back kind of like through their account and look where they came from and what they did and like where their account changed and when they started working with brands um, because that could benefit you. You might see something and go, oh, maybe I could try that or maybe I could try this or look at what they're doing now. Um, obviously, Instagram, TikTok, everything, the algorithm's always changing but if you, if you find someone that's really killing it see what they're doing and to try and imitate it. Don't just copy, but kind of like use it as a guide and that could help put you in the right position. One more thing is you, you need to be seen by the brand. If the brand never sees your account, you're never gonna get an opportunity to be sponsored by them. So the more you can grow your account, the better. Um, at the end of this video, which will be very soon, I'll put my, I've got another video that shows you, that I made, that shows you how to grow your Instagram account. So if you watch that one at the end of this video, you'll be able to see exactly how to do that and that's also gonna help you benefit, help you, um, that's also gonna benefit you when trying to get sponsored by brands. Um, another thing is, <laughs> that was, sorry about that. Another thing is, don't be afraid to reach out to brands. Um, even if you like just write a message and like copy and paste it to the brands, obviously not everyone, but the brands that you would like to work with. Obviously don't overdo it. If you post too many of the same, of the same messages, you can get like a shadow ban or something along those lines. I don't know if that actually exists, but. So do what you can to be seen, um, whether that be just trying to grow your account, uh, posting consistently, reaching out to brands, collaborating with other athletes, that kind of thing. I, so I was on Instagram for probably at, about five years before I got my first, no, four years before I got some small deals. And then five years before I got my first contract. And my first contract was with, I won't say who it was, who it was with, but it was a brand that you know, you probably know, this was my first like big deal. And I got paid every other month and it was probably less than 10% of what I get paid now from contracts. So, and it, you, you need to take time to kind of like build up to that point. So don't rush it don't, and just be patient. And eventually if you just stick to all of these steps and keep pushing, then it will pay off. I'm gonna finish up the video there. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you find it useful. And I hope that kind of encourages you to push forward. So thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Go check out all my other social media accounts. They'll be in the description. And I'll see you guys in the next video.